what's up guys welcome back and now in this video we are going to make a few changes in our app so that first we can have a menu link we can go directly to our inbox then on the page where we are showing the inbox we will need a sidebar so that i can toggle between compose uh, a new message my inbox and my send items so let's quickly start with the top menu let me go to my sublime text and in there where is our links this is the drop down and this is my router link so we can copy paste and what do we call this let us name it make it private messages what's the name of a route where is our routes okay so inbox pms name is inbox pm as well so i will change this and let us see all right so we have this we can go to our dashboard we can click here and i'm i'm able to go to my inbox so as to say now it's time to have a sidebar around here where i will have those three links to move around so what do we do create a new file inside source components private messages and we will name this file private message sidebar dot view although i am sure this will not have any script we will definitely need the template and what do we do let's say we have a ul with class nav nav pills then nav stacked and i'll have a custom class called okay and in that i'll have link i'll have a router let us copy this paste it here we will call this the inbox okay and yeah that should do it we will for now keep one for send pm and sent okay all pointing to the same for now we will later on handle them okay now we have the component so where do we kind of pull that we have a inbox we have sidebar but we don't have any um, page so let us see we can include the component here right so what i will do is component okay. components and it's an object where i'll have private message sidebar uh, which should be equal to private message sidebar which i'll need to include <coughs> this should be from this i'm on the same folder so once this is done we have column three all right this is entire thing as one section so why don't we do one thing we'll have a row and that we will have dev column on a medium device it will be two columns sm it will be two again so i can actually get rid of md for the matter and i'll have a custom class called column with right border which i'll kind of do later but the basic idea is i'll need a border kind of a thing okay and so i have this row so i'll have dev call sm8 and in that why don't we just take this entire table 
and paste it here fine let us see what's happening okay i'm here and things are looking okay so now that we have the sidebar we need to maintain that active state for some indication right so i will quickly add some css let us open the global css and i'll paste this so i have private message and that i have nav pills private message sidebar and i'm just changing the background color of the a tag to this particular color and the text color as white for now let's keep it like that i have to include the variables which i will do later it's part of the refactor which is okay so i save that and all of this become blue which is okay because we haven't created routes for these but this is practically my inbox so we will make components for sent em and sent okay i'll close that out we don't need the menu anymore we do need the sidebar and the main js so what are the different components that we need to create um we'll be creating source components private messages and private message compose okay so private private message compose.view then we need one more which is going to be sent dot view so we have compose and sent and we will also need one the full view of the email so okay so let's see we have compose we have inbox we have sent sidebar and we have the view all right now let us quickly go to our main.js and we'll have to define a few routes so let us first import the components okay what do we have we have the inbox already i'll need the sent okay so sent then we'll need the view and compose okay so we have those four urls and so we need those three more routes okay so let us do that this will be new pm okay which should ideally take me to the uh, compose so and let us call this new pm okay it requires an auth so that's done then we have inbox pms um, we have pms slash id which will take me to the view okay and we will call it pm view and it requires authentication as well and then the last one is going to be sent pms which will take me to send and i'll say my pm sent okay and it requires an auth as well so that's done i should have the app running yes let us quickly um change the sidebar do i have it open yes so sent is going to be this this is going to be new pm we have this it is still inbox why is it doing that all the router links are active it should not happen oh 
I got it. I think the styling is a little wrong. So only highlight the ones with router link active. Sorry. A dot this should give me the active link. Okay. So we have the highlighting done, but the rest of the things or the components are not ready. We will quickly you know, create them. So I will go to compose. What do we do? We take this entire thing. Okay. We have a lot of uh, script tags. So I'll just copy the template. And here I'll script export default and I'll paste this I'll say compose message send a message okay and this is the sidebar let us keep this empty for now we don't need any table content will come here fine we need to import the component though so i'll go to inbox let us import this okay um right and then we copy this components which is required all right anything else no i don't think so so let's save and see yes we are getting this so we can just simply copy this and where is our scent this is our scent so i'll um send messages okay this is also done and I'll copy this and paste it here as well. Okay, that's done. The view part will be handled later. But so we have the send messages, the inbox, and the send PM. So, yeah, we have defined all the um, routes and from the next uh, video we are going to let's say um, first handle the view details and then we'll go uh, ahead with the send pm as well okay thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel